Well, this is how you start it. You start just looping this to get it you know, lined up, and then you start putting the first loop on. I know we had a care manager here, Lisa, that her hands were a blur. It was amazing how fast she was. She said, I've been knitting since I was 14. And I said, well, I've been knitting since I was 86. We're all a big family here. My name is Meg Lipper, and I am the Life Enrichment Director here. Our corporate office had been working with Northside Hospital, and they wanted for us to get involved with knitting baby caps. From the get-go, I thought, oh my gosh, we can do this. And so I said, okay, who here can knit? And not one person raised their hand. And then there was Mr. Ed who said, I'm an engineer. If I can learn, so can everybody else. My name is Ed Mosley. I'm from Texas. I'm 87 years old. <laughs> years young. <laughs> I guess you get the feeling when you come here that you're retired and you're just here to relax and play bingo. But I'd go out and work right now if I could. This past fall, they put this directive out. Turned to work. They would like some caps for their premies. Our goal, we thought, would be 50, and then it went to 75. Thank God uh, Lorraine came along. She's the only other resident that was really into it. And the first thing he said, welcome Lorraine to Dogwood. Do you know how to knit? And she said, as a matter of fact, I do. My name is Lorraine Models. I was a pediatric nurse. I love to create, and you really are creating. You're just taking a straight piece of yarn and you're making something beautiful out of it. This just happened to be my time to come here and help Ed. And we ended up with 340, I believe, was our first batch, if you want to say. When you see a parent struggling with that, you have a lot of compassion. To see a family who started with a child in the NICU and now bringing this precious child back in as a family, it just put things in perspective. This is what it's all about. I'm Patty Bunt. When you're a mom of a baby in the NICU, you really find out how tough you are. To have somebody be so kind as to, to spend their own time, and I mean, it, it truly is overwhelming that there are people out there that, that do good things. It's stressful and it's tough being in the NICU. Little things mean so much, and, and something like this really means a lot. It goes a long way. I've wanted to be a mom my entire life, even though he had such a rough start. It's pretty amazing. There are some people in this world who touch your heart, and Mr. Ed leaves imprints on your heart. One person makes a difference. Happiness is very contagious, and it should be. I can't golf and I can't dance, but my, my fingers are pretty good shape. It is a small gesture, and we don't have enough of those, and that's why it makes people happy.